Hello Capricorn and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you for joining me for your Astro Tarot reading. This reading is meant for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus, and or Rising. So what we're looking at is the full moon in Pisces on Monday, September 20th. And that's when the moon in Pisces is going to oppose the sun in Virgo. Now, later on in the night, the moon is going to shift into Aries at 11.13 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so please adjust to your time zone. And then a couple days after that, on September 22nd, the sun is going to move into Libra. It'll be leaving Virgo and entering Libra at 3.21 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So again, adjust to your time zone. And then that night of the autumn equinox, that Aries moon, because keep in mind, we still have that sun in Libra opposing Aries moon. So this is a balance shift in motion. You know, it's shifting signs but it's maintaining that balance, that flow. And then on September 23rd, that moon is going to enter Taurus at 8.38 a.m. So it's going to stabilize. So what we're looking at is the energies of the end of summer, the beginning of autumn, balancing spirituality with what's practical. These are the in-between energies. It's like walking through a door. You're walking into new energy, a new situation. So we're going to look at what is changing for you at this time. Because as you're walking through that doorway to new energy, you're also leaving something behind. It could be leaving some kind of situation, which could have to do with relationship, career, your job, or a bad habit that you are letting go because Virgo is about self-improvement and taking care of your health. And then as the sun shifts into Libra, it's about balancing these energies and incorporating um, the transition, the shift that you made. Perhaps you've been working out for some time and now you're seeing that transformation. Perhaps it's time to go out and get a new wardrobe. So let's look at your lunar energy. How is it being influenced and impacted for you at this time, Capricorn? And we have work through your fears with the new moon in Scorpio. And guess what? That new moon in Scorpio is going to be two weeks away from this full moon in Pisces. So this is a chance, you know, after this full moon, because full moons are about conclusions. And then as that moon gets smaller and become a new moon and disappears into the dark moon, which is this new moon in Scorpio, you're going to be taking apart your fears. You're going to be working through those fears. All right, let's see what your fairy blessing is because the fairies live in the in-between energies. And so they are very helpful for these transitional times. So for you, Capricorn, they have a blessing of healing, number 36. How perfect, because you are healing some deep fear. And keep in mind, we have um, Pluto still in Capricorn, in your sign, which is destroying everything that you don't need, anything that is 
not part of this new order as we work our way through this dawning of the Aquarian age. Okay, so let's go in a little bit deeper on what, oh, before I do that, let me read a little bit from this blessing of a healing from the fairies. Okay, the fairy gift of situation or condition being healed in a beautiful way. There is no obligation with this energy. It is pure and safe and fresh as spring water or wild strawberries. Let their light now shine upon you and move to whatever part of you is in most need of comfort and strength. Let the old hurts or pains and challenges be offered the gift of fairy help and healing. Let whatever load it is you have carried be lightened with their touch. Let there be harmony within you form and let the healing energy that moves through all the natural world and is concentrated in abundance within the fairies and their medicine. Let it move to you, through you, leaving you relieved, soothed, healed, and replenished. Let hurts fade away and let hope and healing rise again. The fairies are there to assist you, friend. Let the fairy gift of healing be yours this day. Okay, so again, as I said, this is a general tarot reading, and this is to meet whatever your situation is. And you're going to work through it. The fairies are going to be there to assist and help you. Ways that are seen and unseen. So let's go deeper into this reading with the tarot for you, Capricorn. And we start with the Ace of Swords. Okay, clarity of mind. That is where your healing starts. Your fears are within your mind. It is your mind that is creating these fears. And now the fairies bring you this Ace of Swords to cut through those doubts and fears. And I love the full moon right here and the sun. This is a balance between those in-between times of night and day. And then next we have the Two of Swords. This is you at the crossroads, being unsure, being uncertain, tuning into yourself and letting this fairy realm help guide you through these crossroads. And this new moon in Scorpio is like the crossroads. The, new, the dark moons are Hecate's time. And she is the ruler of crossroads. So you may want to tune into yourself and meditate and perhaps make an offering to Hecate to help guide you at these crossroads in your life. Then we have the Two of Wands. What is it that you have to offer the world? You are contemplating and meditating on the clarity of mind. What is it that you have to offer the world? What is it that you wish to desire? To manifest, what do you want to manifest? And you need to make that clear in your mind. So if you look, it looks like he's holding the sun in his hand. Clarity of mind. And right here, you are leaving the full moon into the sun that you are holding.
and we have the four pentacles. Wow, two and two equal four. This is you looking at your material, wealth, security, what it is that you have that makes your life happy and secure. This is also a warning of being miserly, um, holding on to things too tightly. Perhaps one of your fears is the fear of poverty. And the Four of Pentacles is helping you work through that fear of poverty. Even though you may not be poor, you may always be feeling like you have to save for that rainy day. And even though you have plenty, you need to find this balance. Or you could be po in poverty. You could be struggling with that fear of poverty because you are in poverty. And you have to make this mind shift out of poverty because by focusing on poverty, you just bring more want into your life. And so you have to shift into being grateful for what it is that you do have and the abundance that you do have. And by shifting your thought onto the abundance of what you have, you're going to invite more abundance into your life, thus healing that fear of poverty. Then we have the King of Swords. This is justice. This is balancing that justice. And this is very nice with that sun in Libra for the autumn equinox. This is balancing. And if there are any litigations or just feelings of injustice that you've been wronged, again, this comes back to the Scorpio new moon of working through your fears. When you feel that life has treated you unjustly in the past, look to the lessons that they taught you. And then you can let go of that pain and be grateful for the lessons that help elevate you and work through this fear and healing it. And there might be some financial injustice that you might feel, which created this fear of poverty. Then next we have the Five of Swords. You feel that this is a power struggle. You feel that everything is a struggle. Here you have an idea you want to manifest and it feels like somebody beats you to it. Or, it's, you know, but think of it. Great minds think alike. You're not going to be the only one that has a great idea. This is only to encourage you to act on those ideas that are being given to you and reclaiming your power. See where your power has been taken and call it back to you. And with the Three of Swords, here we have the greatest fear that you're going to be working through. Sorrow. Feeling betrayed, especially with this Five of Swords. Feeling that your power has been taken from you, Capricorn. Now keep in mind, you have your home planet in Aquarius right now. And it's doing some shifting. It's changing the way things are played. It's changing the game. And so you feel like the powers have shifted. Well, they have. But you don't have to be sad about that because maybe it's going to shift in your favor. So you have to accept this gift of sorrow and lean into it and l release your tears. Feel that pain because that's the only way that you're going to be able to release it and work through it. And if you look here, 
you have just enough to find clarity through these three of swords. You will find balance and security and gratitude in this process. Then we have the Six of Swords. You are going to be moving away from these emotionally troubled waters. Here we have the Two of Swords and King of Swords. Here we have the Blessing of Healing. You are going to be blessed by the Rainbow Healing. This is purification of the chakras. Balancing your energies, your emotional energies. In the Page of Wands, this is bringing a new adventure to you, Capricorn. This is going to bring your empowerment, your higher learning. You are going to rise above your pain and fears. Okay, let's see what sacred door you are going to be walking through in these in-between energies. What is changing for you? For you, Capricorn, we have Yes, look at your artwork. You are going to be jumping for joy. Yes, kiss the ground and touch the sky. Your soul is set now to leap and fly. This is showing gratitude for what you do have and it's going to help you make that mind shift of a fear and sorrow where you can be grateful for the wonderful things that you do have. Okay, now let's look at your moon magic. For you, Capricorn. Oh, nice. Here is your artwork. And it says Eclipse. I now know myself deeply and find myself worthy. Now we're going to have an eclipse in November. And that's when we have this new moon in Scorpio. You are going to know yourself deeply and you're going to find yourself worthy. So you're not going to fear anymore. You're not going to fear being unworthy. You're not going to fear poverty because you are worthy of the abundance of the universe. You are worthy of this blessing of healing. Okay, Capricorn, I'm going to end your reading here. I hope that it was helpful and beneficial for you and your situation, whatever it may be. Until next time, take care.